the final episode of the season is about this larger impending apocalypse for all of them and the little apocalypses in their own lives. I was late because I was waiting for you to help me on my Mayans report. The title of the final episode of the season is um, The Mayan Apocalypse. Roscoe, again, is working on something at school, um, a report on the Mayans, a big report that's worth a lot of his grade, which Marty does not do very well. So you blew up your life for the job, huh? But the episode really surrounds the characters of Marty and Jeannie and how they blow up their personal lives for their professional ones. And it has that kind of sad ending where they win, but they both lose. Does that mean one day I'll be like you? <laughs> one day. Girl, you are already like me. They're feeling that feeling that soldiers have that they can only share with other soldiers, where they've had this victory and, and they can't exactly translate it into when they come home and they're not going to be able to to carry it into the rest of their lives. It's really just for, it's for their platoon, you know. Can you tell this story later? Make me sound good, okay? I think moving on, this pod is just accruing a tremendous amount of bad will from other people. You just started World War III, pal. You better nuke up. I just have fantasies of all of the people that they have done bad things to, scheming against our poor pod. Can I get an imminent demise? Imminent demise. demise. Imminent demise. The table read for the finale episode, I got a little choked up. It was very moving and and funny, and, and I'm very in love with this cast. It's very satisfying to see it through to completion after doing all the scribbling. That's a really fun thing to be able to have these ridiculous thoughts and then get to make them happen. The overall experience has been remarkable. To the blower uppers. To the mother blower uppers.